5.30 p.m. Here we go. Buy red flowers to adorn the chamber door. And bury the key in the ivy leaves for the kingdom of Kapanomama. We'll lead his children through the woods and teach them all the songs of love and tie their hair with silver combs and feed their tummies off the yellow wine. May 16th, 1 a.m. The image engraven upon wind and sea bears the two countenance of love's fortitude, which takes the shape of flying sheep and devils chained in water drops. We too long for that kiss that blends the hours into bridges from the spacious sea, where birds of death follow our wake in the scent of our love and the sound of our sigh. Bound together in the fatal wave, back to back, the chain is faced. We die to touch, we two as one. And thus, we reign the world with outward vision. May 27, 11 p.m. Singing in the sign is done. The chain is forged. The tune is sealed, the sound of iron on iron vibrating in the space without the last of the worlds. May 29th, 11 p.m. <coughs> the eyes of you are the last frontier of space, ringing in the fields of light torturing all my senses to the absolute. Pour down the pearls of paradise into our bridal bower, and from the scarlet lip of the abysmal fire send forth a veil of incense dancing sensuously. And with love's imagery, we shall shape a God to satisfy. I shall slay thee again June 4th, 9.30 p.m. Deeply desirous of death, he drifts downward to the scarlet bowls of longing in the secret center of the sun, and pouring out his holy cup on the scarred and crusted earth of ancient war, he weeps for all his brothers buried there. His tears divide the maiden gentle. Kisses him there and wraps him in the softest light and leads him from the night. The might of my intrigue and the burden of the bullet in my brain, where I was shot in my encounter with the brick wall. I'll tell you straight, I'm not your God, though I know you're God. I might have given myself over to your bloody business, but I no longer have an appetite for your apple. I am the worm that violated your tomb and left it stinking I am filled with self-loathing for having gutted myself so long upon your heart, your heart, your precious well of passion praying for a wing of purity. I I am the larva of the flight into the light, but all thy fervent praying will not make thee the moth, the swords from the cocoon of your skirt. It's forever changing face, fading in and out. But I have realized the most astonishing truth about you. You are the totality. Everything I have ever known has been you. You were always there. I said this a long time ago. I 
mind very recently said it, seeing the whole thing very clearly. But I was on the other side of the glass talking to you. I didn't see you yet. I felt you urgently. And a burning necessity that drove me insane. And misery of hearing hopelessness clearing me down, down to the most deadly annihilation. I believed nothing. I feared everything. I cried all truth and lies to shreds to appease the doubt until at last, not through a single act, but through all acts, I find myself in the landscape of your star. I have yet to see if my comprehension is not an after. Earth, by the cycle, and death in your brain. If it is this reflection, then I am doomed to hear the echo rebounding on emptiness into an eternal voyage, a vast gray sea of nothingness. Born from your brain, bathed in the fountain of your heart, dissolved in your bowels, and violated by your fellows that conceived me long ago. Now I rise up from death, and I attach my life along its entire length to the boundaries of your body, and fasten the bars to hold the tempest in the crown, and lock our legs in serpentine strength against the earthquake that would shake the roots towering tree that holds aloft with shimmering grace the snow of white earth of peace. Rise up, I have surpassed the tomb you dreamed to me. Stars trail from my fingertips. My soul, the threads become snagged on the points, and my back groans from the burden of my hands. Set your face keenly to the dawn light. The long night of fear and sorrow is at your back. Child, wide eyed from the storm. Frozen peak of the world. In mighty maturity, she spreads her vast wings. Mother moon, enveloped in tissue of luminous fire. All life is fed at your cold of rest. All dreams are spun in your silk. Mother, you have come at last. Out of the earth, born from the corn, from the blood of the rose, and the glowing dew, from the jeweled caverns beneath the tree, from the sacred fire of the northern lights, all oh, the many steps of the way. In the pavilion of heaven, danced for me as a rose, unfolding from the center, jeweled with dew, 